guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a little while since I last uploaded. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I've kind of been keeping you all updated with where I've been on there. But if you don't follow me, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. About a week and a half ago, I found out I had appendicitis and I had to get my appendix removed. So I pretty much just been taking it easy, recovering the past week and a half. And I haven't really been able to film or vlog or really do anything on here. But I'm feeling so much better now. Like I said, it's been about a week and a half. And I wanted to film a video before I jumped back into just like regular vlogs and stuff. I kind of wanted to just update you guys on like what's been going on. But I didn't feel like just sitting and like talking. So I thought I would do a little get ready with me. I'm just going to be doing my everyday makeup and kind of talking to you guys chatting like a little life update get ready with me i'm so excited to be back filming i missed you guys yeah so i'm gonna get ready and let's get into it i have my iced coffee ready to go okay so i just got out of the shower so my skin is completely bare right now so i want to do a little bit of skincare before i jump into my makeup i've actually been using a new vitamin c serum new to me this is the peter thomas roth potent c power serum i've been switching up a lot of my skincare actually because i've been trying to get better at like actually researching the ingredients in my skincare and like knowing what they mean and also trying to avoid products that have like added fragrance and just like unnecessary stuff i've really been liking this one so far i think vitamin c is really important and then for moisturizer keeping with the same one the drunk elephant moisturizer i love this stuff it works really well for me so just putting that all over my skin's pretty dry right now also i know you guys can't see it on camera so you're gonna be like what are you talking about but my skin has been having really weird reactions to the like face tanning drops that i use i was using the isle of paradise ones which i've loved and i've used them a couple times and hadn't had a problem and then all of a sudden i used them and my skin broke out in this weird like reaction i have it right now i know you cannot see it but like down here especially and like on my forehead there's just like this weird rough texture that my skin has and it's like not normal it's not like breakouts but it's just like this weird texture kind of like allergic reaction type thing so i stopped using those and then i switched to these tan lux ones the face illuminating self tan drops and my skin did the same thing so i must just be like allergic to one of the ingredients that's in both of the brands but it's really annoying because I liked both of them a lot, like how the tan actually looked on my face. I really recommend either of them, but they just didn't work for my skin. For eye cream, I'm still using the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I haven't really found an eye cream that's like life-changing for me. If you guys have any recommendations for an eye cream that's like good for the morning, hydrating, and like kind of de-puffing, definitely let me know. Then just putting a little bit of Laneige Lip Mask on my lips for now because they're so dry okay so for foundation or cc cream i have been using the it cosmetics one for so long this is in the shade light it's a little too dark for me right now but once i put on like concealer and everything it looks normal i promise so like i said i had to get surgery about a week and a half ago it's been a really just like series of bad things happening to me over the past few months you guys know right before that i was like really sick for a week or so just with like really bad cold symptoms i don't really know what i had i've been sick like four times since the start of the year like 2020 has just not been it for me so far so after that last time i was sick i was like okay i need to like be taking better care of my body like i started taking some new vitamins i was like drinking all these green juices and immunity shots and like trying to drink more water, eat healthy, like exercise. I was trying to do everything I could to not get sick again. All of a sudden I started having these like weird pains in my stomach. It's actually weird because when it started, it was like my lower left side of my stomach. So right away I like ruled out appendicitis because your appendix is on your right side. I didn't really know what it was. It wasn't like severe or anything for a couple days. So I didn't really think much of it. It just kind of felt like cramps sort of last like two tuesdays ago i got really really sick tuesday night literally out of nowhere i just was like so sick like throwing up the entire night and like i've never felt so sick in my life and it hit me like out of nowhere 
So first thing Wednesday morning, I went to urgent care. Luckily my mom, like for her work, is able to work from home if she needs to. So she was able to stay home and be with me at the doctor's, which I'm like so thankful for because I don't know what I would have done if I was by myself. I would have been so scared. Went to the doctor, I was there for like five hours just doing like tests and blood work and like all that stuff. So they did a CAT scan of my stomach and that's how they were able to see the appendicitis. They said it was really early and it was really good that I came in when I did because if I had waited like even a day or two longer, it could have gotten way worse and could have burst and that would have been so bad. Once they figured out it was appendicitis, I went to the emergency room and I met with a surgeon there and then they were able to get me into surgery at like 7.30 that night and then I was actually able to go home the same night at like midnight. So everything happened really, really fast. It was really scary just because I have never gotten surgery before. This was my first ever time. Everything went really smoothly. The recovery is really easy and like straightforward. I was just like in a lot of pain in my stomach for a few days just after the surgery, but I'm pretty much back to normal now. I still have a little bit of soreness in my stomach and I still have to like take it easy on my body. I'm not allowed to lift things over 20 pounds. I can't really like exercise anything that would strain my like abdomen muscles. But other than that, I can pretty much just go back to normal. I stayed at my parents' house for like four days after the surgery just so that I wasn't alone in my apartment. And then I came back home like a week ago and now I'm feeling so, so much better. Thank you guys for all the sweet messages on Instagram. Like so many of you guys were telling me to feel better and it meant so much to me. Oh, also I just used Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as always. I'm actually gonna use a little cream contour bronzer situation, which I don't normally do. I just got this, I've only used it once. It's the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Latte, and I'm just gonna use this to like warm up my cheeks and my forehead and like kind of cream contour a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why I've had such bad luck so far in 2020. The one good thing that came from all this though is that I do feel like I'm taking better care of myself and like paying more attention to my health and my immune system and just like eating right and like just being a healthier version of myself. I'm also very grateful that this happened when it did because I had enough time to recover before some travel that I have coming up. Like it would have been so bad if this happened like next week or something right before I'm going on vacation. I have a few trips coming up in like March and April that I'm so excited for. I was just talking about this with my friend Madison. We were saying how like anytime we're going through like a hard time, the thing that helps us is having something to look forward to. Every year for the past like six years or so, January, February, March are like a really hard and like weird time for me. I feel like a lot of people get kind of like a seasonal depression type of thing. My way of like coping with it is I always try to book a trip around like March spring break time because it gives me something to look forward to. So I'm going to Miami in a week and I could not be more excited. I need this vacation so badly. It's Actually, the week before my spring break is when I'm going, but it kind of overlaps a little bit with my spring break. But Madison goes to the University of Michigan, and so her spring break is that week, and her and two of her friends are going to Miami. And I was like, I want to go to Miami, so I just like crashed their spring break. And I'm so excited just to be in the warm weather, it makes me so happy. In April, I'm actually going to Coachella, which I cannot believe. I've never been to Coachella. This will be my first year going. The lineup is so good this year. Travis Scott. I'm going with Ingrid to Coachella, and we're going to have so much fun. We've literally like been planning this for months, and I can't wait to like pick out my outfits and like do all that fun stuff. And then we're also spending the week after Coachella in LA and just spending some time out there. So again, this is how I get through the winter months, just like booking trips to warm places because even when I'm not there, I'm like looking forward to that trip. So even though January and February have been like really rough for me, especially this year, I've like had these trips coming up that I've been able to like plan and look forward to and I've been like picking out outfits for and like all of that fun stuff and it just makes it a lot easier to like get through 
these months because I know I have something really fun to look forward to to like spend time with my friends get away from the cold be in the warm weather and it makes the time go by faster I just set my concealer with the Laura Mercier powder so now I'm gonna go over the cream contour with a powder bronzer so this is the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder in the shade bronze 2 I'm using the morphe m527 brush and just going in making myself tan since my skin won't let me use a self tanner for blush i'm gonna use the tart blush in the shade peaceful this one has like a little bit of shimmer in it which i really like what else is new with me i just posted my first tiktok literally today i've had like the tiktok app for a few weeks now and it's like literally all i do is like scroll through my for you page but i didn't really know like what i wanted to do for my first tiktok so i decided to make one of my cat you guys know kitty she has the biggest personality ever so i thought she would be perfect but i do plan on making tiktoks of myself as well but i'm just nervous i actually know a few tiktok dances but i haven't like filmed myself doing them because i'm scared they're gonna be cringy no matter what but follow me on tiktok because I'm gonna try to post on there every once in a while. Don't really know what I'm gonna post or when I'm gonna post it, but you guys should just follow me so that when I do post, you'll see it. I'm using Becca Champagne Pop, by the way. I lost my last Champagne Pop and I finally went and bought a new one because I missed it when I didn't have it. Cleaning the makeup off my lips. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows real quick. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wave in the shade of Soft Brown. I can't talk and do my eyebrows at the same time, so I'm gonna speed through this. Eyebrows are complete. Now I'm just going to set them with the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade MJ. I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face with the Morphe setting spray. I like to do this before I put on mascara because I feel like if I do mascara first and then I spray my face, the mascara gets wet and like transfers everywhere. So, I have cat hair all over me. I should not be allowed to wear black. Just put on L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on my lashes. Okay, and the last step for my makeup is going to be lips. You guys know how much I love the Too Faced Lip Injection, the extreme one. I've been using just like the clear one for years now, since high school. It's my favorite. It actually plumps your lips so much. So I'm pretty sure this just came out. I've never seen it before, but they recently came out with the extreme lip injection in different shades. So this was the only really shade that was like calling my name. It's the shade Bubblegum Yum. So it's just a really cute like light pink color. It comes out really, really sheer, but I just like the tint that it gives my lips. So it gives the same like plumping, glossy effect as the original one, but also just makes your lips a little pink. That is what it looks like. It's very natural looking, but I just like the little tint it gives my lips. I think I like it better than the clear one. So love this lip gloss and that is it for my makeup okay guys so that is my makeup all done pretty much using my normal favorite products but i've been switching a few things up here and there but i hope you guys liked it i'll have all the products i use linked down below as always if you guys were to shop anything and yeah thank you guys so much for being patient with me i know i haven't uploaded a lot at all in the past like month or so i've been doing my best i'm Sorry, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being patient and sticking around. I want to get back into like a regular uploading schedule. I'm going to try for two videos a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, and maybe even a third video on Fridays. That's kind of the plan right now. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow me on Instagram as well. I've been doing a pretty good job of like just keeping you guys updated with my day-to-day -day life on there. And follow me on TikTok because we're on there now too. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.